The first time I unpacked this bag I was highly impressed, but after using it a couple of times I was quite disappointed. Hi, my name is Boris Mono, I'm a film editor based in Hamburg, Germany and today I'm reviewing the Blue Smart carry-on case. After reviewing a product, I evaluate all pros and cons to see which points might not have been mentioned in other reviews, but might be interesting to know nonetheless. This is why everything shown in this video is just a fraction of all the numbers that result in the final score. The Blue Smart, this is the Black Edition, is a 34 liter carry-on case with a bunch of electronic features like GPS tracking, remote lock and more. With these features and in my opinion its very appealing and sleek design, it is very well suited for business trips up to two days. The aforementioned technical features are the main selling point of this case. There is a 10400mAh battery inside the case which can be used to charge your devices but also it is used to power the other main features of this case. Via Bluetooth you can connect the case to the BlueSmart app which is used to remotely lock or unlock the case either manually or if the case leaves your proximity, e.g. in case of theft or if you forget it. Furthermore you can use the app to measure the weight of the case. Lastly, there is a GPS location tracking inside the case, which unfortunately only worked sometimes or very slowly for me. To open or lock the case you can use the app or regular keys. Underneath this flap you will find a slot for a 15 inch MacBook Pro and just about enough space for some documents, notebooks or cables. Inside you will find the main compartment with this divider to hold all of your items in place. On the other side are a couple of compartments that in my opinion are quite limited in space. But everything inside the main compartment is quite well protected due to the durable hard body case. But although I was able to fit up to 5 days worth of clothing, it was still a little bit less than what I was able to fit inside my 33 liter air travel pack for instance, which is partly due to the battery sticking into the case. As soon as I packed everything into the main compartment, I had to remove the divider because the straps were too short. Also these compartments on the left are quite shallow, so I couldn't find a use for them besides putting a sweater into one of them and use the mesh one for small items. And while you can fit this much into the case, as soon as you close it, the front slot for your laptop and quick access items becomes so compressed that you can barely fit some further items in addition to your laptop in it. I inserted the small pouch with cables, chargers, etc. which will leave the small opening gap as soon as you close the front compartment, which will be an entry point for water for instance. Overall I'm not sure how well this case will handle heavy rain with these exposed USB ports of the 10400mAh battery and I'm not willing to test it to be honest. When I was lugging around the bag I realized two things that annoyed me quite a lot. First, it does not have a side handle. When I lift the case with the top handle, the case is still very close to the ground due to its height. Which is why I always needed to lift it a little bit higher just not to bump into stuff like when climbing stairs for instance. Granted, this is just a problem for short people like me. But nevertheless, with this upright design, a side handle would be nice to have. Second, the four wheels. While I understand that four wheels are very comfortable, I found them to be quite annoying in this case. The blue smart size and weight did not provide enough counterbalance when you roll it over uneven or bumpy ground. So when you roll against a crack on the ground, the case would stop at the wheels and tip over so slightly or wobble. So I ended up pulling the case behind me on two wheels. These two cons in terms of transporting the blue smart, in addition to all the limitations of packing all my stuff, kinda left me with a feeling of disappointment. Lots of the features and compartments looked great at the beginning, but felt kinda useless or restraining in the end. The technical features like the Bluetooth locking mechanism are pretty cool, but gimmicky in the end, especially if they heavily rely on power. If your phone or the power bank inside the Blue Smart dies, all of these features are useless. Instead of relying on the Bluetooth anti-theft feature, I would just recommend to rely on your common sense and look out for your bag. However, if you use this case on a short business trip, let's say two days tops, then most of my gripes will be negligible, since you will not pack as much as I did and you will be in business meetings with lots of power outlets and no heavy rain. Bottom line, I was disappointed with the Blue Smart. 
but with its design and build quality, I can still see that the Blue Smart might be well suited for business trips up to two days. Check out the description below to see the detailed scores. And if you have any more questions, please comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss the next videos. Thanks.